Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to be diving into what might be the most underrated AI tool out there right now, the Minimax agent. And this is not just another chatbot, this is a full-blown AI agent that can build websites, analyze your data, run research tasks, and even create interactive 3D environments all from a single prompt. It's powered by the Minimax M1, a model that can process up to 1 million tokens in context, making it one of the most powerful reasoning engines available for free. And here's the best part. You don't need to pay a thing to try it out. Just head over to minimax.io, create an account, and you'll get 1,000 free credits to explore what it can really do. And that's more than enough to run full projects and see it in action. So let's see what it can do. The first thing that you need to do is sign in. So you're just going to head over to try now. And you'll notice at the top here that you've got two tabs. You've got the agent and you've got chat. So once you're in the chat, it works like a traditional AI assistant. You can ask questions. You can brainstorm ideas, get summaries. You can attach your documents here. And you can see all the list of the documents that you can attach. You can also get it to search for information on the web and you can click on think if you want it to do more reasoning kind of tasks. And here's the main area where you can enter your prompts and Minimax will be able to browse the web, write code, build websites, handle research and more. Now, if we go to the agent tab, this is where the power of Minimax really lies. Not only can you give it full tasks to run like building apps, analyzing files or running long multi-step processes, it's designed for action and it really does execute various processes for you. Now again, this is the main area where you can enter your task. And here again, you can upload all your files. And this is where Minimax really differs. You'll find here that this is Minimax's MCP option. And as we explained when we covered MCP with ChatGPT, and I'll leave you the link to that video above, MCP lets you connect your AI agent to external platforms. And we'll see here that it's already got Google Maps and Minimax's own server built in. But you can also access a lot of external platforms from the MCP market. So if we click on that, you'll see that you can connect it to Figma, Slack, Notion, GitHub, connect it to a whole load of different servers. And as we said, it already includes Minimax's MCP server and also Google Maps already built in. And this really expands what the agent can access and respond to. And you'll notice here that on the sidebar on the left, it keeps track of all your previous conversations and tasks. And that makes it easy to jump back into a project or use something that you've already worked on. Okay. And if you scroll down the page, you'll see there's a variety of example projects, everything from a maze web game, a 2025 global concert travel guide, we've got mapping UK listed companies in the compute leasing market, so many different projects that you can explore. And here's a great tip that I want to share with you. So if you choose one of the projects, like for example, the virtual museum tour of the Louvre, and we click on view details, it will take you to the actual project. And here you can actually take the prompt. If you copy that, then it will be a sample prompt that you can use. And you also see that it replays the entire task for you. You can actually skip to go to result. So you can see the final output. And then if I open this in a new tab, it will show me the actual final product that it was able to produce. And this is really useful because you can access great examples directly and adapt them for your own task. So now I'm going to start with my first use case. Okay, so for our first use case, we're going to ask it to create a website for us. And I'm going to add a prompt here that says create a modern website for a futuristic tech showroom. The homepage should feature a sleek, dark theme, a hero section with a bold title an image of high tech environment and sections for 10 innovative gadgets with brief descriptions and glowing hover effects use smooth animations and a clean sci-fi inspired layout. And I'm going to run that. Okay. And again, you can see that it's now completed the task. It searched for the relevant images. It's then created the navigation component, the hero component. It tells me of all the key features that it's implemented, content structure, all the gadgets showcased, all the sections and so on. And then again, I've got all the project files here. And then if I come to Minimax's window, I can then open my website and you can already see how amazing this looks. It's taken all the design components and elements that I've added in my prompt. It's come back with this techie futuristic kind of design. And and then I've got the option here to explore gadgets. And you can see that there's animation effects as well. And then I've got my different technological innovations here that have been added. And look how amazing the design is where you can actually select each one. And when you hover over it, it changes. And just the color combination of everything that it's done is really good. And the choice of images is really amazing. And then I've got an option here to learn more and view in 3D as I requested. And then I've got the vision at the bottom here and some other buttons, cutting edge research, quantum innovation. 
information and then I've got a statistics section here at the bottom and a quote and an option to connect with the company and all the different features so you can see how amazing the output is and this was done using a single simple prompt on Minimax. Okay, so for our second use case, we're going to use it to get some data analysis and insights into our sales performance. So what I've done here is added this prompt, which says using the attached sales report, performed a detailed analysis to uncover key trends, identify the best and worst performing products and highlight any patterns across regions or sales channels, generate a full set of visualizations. And I've given it some ideas like bar charts, line graphs, category breakdowns to support your findings, provide a concise written summary of the insights and include clear data-driven recommendations aimed at increasing overall sales by at least 25% over the next quarter. And of course, I need to attach my CSV files. So I'm going to attach my sales data file. Okay. And once I've attached that, I'm going to click on run. Okay, so if we look at the results, it's now come back with full detailed report based on the analysis, all visuals and materials that have been integrated, proper insightful recommendations with strategic depth, professional executive level formatting, multiple formats for different use case studies. And if I click on view all files, you, you'll see here in the Minimax window, all the different files that it has come back with. So let's start off with the comprehensive sales analysis and executive report. If I open that up, you'll see that this is the entire Word document of the report that it has has produced and we can actually download this file and if we open up the word document you'll see that it's an eight page file that contains the executive summary the strategic recommendations that we requested an introduction the methodology it does the comprehensive market and sales analysis and i've got my visualizations in there as well i've got the product performance analysis and you can see all the different breakdowns that i would require have been analyzed in this report and not only that but it comes back with the strategic growth plan achieving a 25 percent sales increase what are the steps that i would have to do in order to produce that and clearly broken down in the different sections below with the implementation roadmap so if i look at the rest of the files it's also given me a folder with all the charts that it has produced in the report so i've got the revenue by product the revenue by channel the revenue by region as well i've got all the relevant documents so i've got the sales analysis report as a docx file i've also got it as a pdf and i've also got the sales analysis python code so such a useful tool tool for data analysis that really goes into depth as well. Okay, and for our third use case, we're going to add this prompt where we're going to ask it to build an interactive career planner that helps students or early professionals explore different career paths based on their interests. This site should include a personality style quiz, recommendations for matching careers and learning pathways with the required skills, courses and estimated time to entry. And we're going to run that. Okay, so you can see that it began here with a clear plan. It outlined all the steps that it needs in order for it to to create the project and execute it from start to finish. So here it says, I'm going to navigate to the project directory and check its structure, create the data structure, implement the personality quiz component, create the career recommendation engine and so on. And then it begins to create the quiz questions data, the career database, the learning pathways data. And you can see every step of the way. For example, here it creates a comprehensive career database with 30 plus careers across different industries. And then it compiles the learning pathway data. And then here it compiles all the relevant images that it needs for my website. And then after it completes all these different tasks, it's now produced the final website and I've opened it in a new tab. So we can just look at the full output and you can see it's built a logo here for Career Compass website. It's a really strong landing page. It's clean, it's modern. It's got this gradient overlay and a call to action with discover your dream career. It's got a button here so that you can start your journey and it has the different sections here like why choose Career Compass. And then it's got the personality based matching, 30 plus career options options, the learning pathways. Here you can discover your personality type and it's given us some examples. And also you can take the quiz that we asked it to produce. So a really, really nice output. You've got buttons here at the top as well and that you can customize and build on. So what an amazing job it's done here as well. So I hope you found this video useful and see you in the next one.